Hello, everyone. How's your day going so far? Good? I want to conclude your day by talking to you about fears and why I believe that they are meant to be faced. So what is the definition of fear? According to the dictionary, it's an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that something is dangerous or likely to cause you pain. When I try to think back on all the times that I've been afraid, I end up feeling silly, like my fears were irrational, or like I was afraid of so many things that I should have never been afraid of in the first place. The reason that I feel that way now is because I have faced those fears. Once you face a fear head on, you get to experience the consequences of that fear. In my personal experience, the consequences are usually not what you were afraid of. I always think back to when I was a senior in high school. I was absolutely terrified of making the wrong decision. Honestly, I felt like I was way too young to be making decisions that would affect the rest of my life. I was barely 18 years old. I had no idea where I should go to college. You know, should I stay in Kentucky, which is where I'm from and where I had spent my whole entire life up to that point? Or should I expand my horizons and go a little further away from home? What would I major in? How was I supposed to pick what industry to work in when I had never even had a real full-time job yet? I had no idea what I wanted to do, and my biggest fear was making the wrong decision and spending the rest of my life unhappy because of it. I had an idea in my heart of what I wanted to do, but was it the right thing to do? Was it the smart thing to do? Would I end up regretting it? I wasn't sure, but when I was finally forced to make a decision, I followed my heart. At the time, my heart was pointing to country music. I wanted to work in the music industry, and I really only knew of one way to go about doing that. I could move to Nashville, I could go to school at Belmont University, get a degree in music business, and hope to get a job after that. So I did it. About six years ago now, I moved to Nashville. I spent about two years of my college life interning at a record label in country music. I then graduated with a degree in music business and ended up working in music publishing for about a year and a half. Up to that point, I had accomplished pretty much everything that I had hoped to. There was just one small issue. I was completely unhappy. I didn't like the job that I was doing, and I just wasn't passionate about my work the way that I should have been and the way that I really wanted to be. I was passionate about something else, something that was completely unrelated to the music industry. But I was afraid. I was afraid that I had just wasted a ton of my time and a ton of my parents' money getting a degree in something that I didn't even want to work in anymore. I was afraid that I had just wasted away years of my life trying to get experience in a field that I didn't want to be part of. I was afraid that if I quit my job at one of the biggest publishing companies in music to pursue a business selling cookie dough, people would judge me. They'd think I was crazy. They would question my decision. I was afraid, yeah, of what other people would think, obviously, but that wasn't it. I was afraid that if I quit that job and then my business of selling cookie dough didn't work out, I would never, ever be able to get another job in the music industry again. The gap in my resume would cause red flags. My reputation would be ruined. I was afraid. So the next question was, how was I going to face this fear? This fear had me stuck. How could I face it and unparalyze myself? My fiance, Jimmy, always had the best advice to help me make decisions that I was having trouble with. He'd say, Megan, list out the pros and the cons of each decision. If there are more pros than cons, do it. If there are more cons than pros, don't do it. Simple, right? So let me just give you an example of that method put to use in a very simple life situation for me. Let's say I am trying to decide if I should eat a pepperoni pizza for dinner or a spinach salad for dinner. I would start this decision by listing out the pros and the cons of each. So the pepperoni pizza, for example. Pro, it has cheese on it. 
Pro, it has pepperoni on it. Pro, the pepperoni pizza is a delicious piece of bread covered in sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. Okay, okay, so we'll move on to the con. It's not exactly low in fat. Just a small minor detail. Let's look at the spinach salad. A pro of the spinach salad, the obvious one, it's healthy and it's non-fattening. The con of the spinach salad, it's not pizza. It's not a delicious piece of bread covered in sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. So right then and there, my decision would be made. I would be having pepperoni pizza for dinner. So let's go back using that same method and apply it to the more difficult decision that I was facing at the time. Pro, I would be leaving a job that I didn't even like. Con, I was afraid. Pro, I would be starting my own business. Con, I was afraid. Pro, I would finally feel like I was in control of my own future. Con, I was afraid. I realized I was the only thing holding myself back. My fears were the only thing keeping me from making that decision. So the next Monday, I hadn't quite made a decision on what I was going to do, so I went to the office where I was working at the time. I went to my cubicle and I sat down at that desk, stared at the computer for at least an hour doing nothing but trying to decide what I should do. And that's when it finally hit me. That's when I finally gave in. That's when I finally stopped letting my fears get the best of me. I realized that I was a 23-year-old who had nothing that I valued to lose, but everything in the world to gain. Now, as I made that decision to quit that job and pursue being an entrepreneur full-time, I thought back to that original decision I had made to move to Nashville and go to Belmont and pursue a career in the music industry. Had all of that been a giant mistake? Should I have just gone to a state school in Kentucky where I wouldn't have had to get student loans? I could have majored in entrepreneurship or general business. I knew I loved cookie dough back then, so should I have already pursued that business? Should I already have started it? The answer to those questions is no. I went to Belmont and I met the guy that I'm about to marry. I met some of my best friends who are about to be my bridesmaids. I got to work up close and personal with some of the greatest country music artists of all time. If I wouldn't have moved away from home and I wouldn't have worked in the music industry, I would have regretted it. I would have felt like I really missed out on something. Who knows, I may have even left a cookie dough business to pursue a career in the music industry. Facing fears and making decisions go hand in hand. It's okay to be afraid. It's natural to be afraid, but fears are meant to be faced. And whatever you do, don't be afraid to change your path. I'll leave you guys with one of my favorite quotes from F. Scott Fitzgerald. He said, he said, for what it's worth, it's never too late to be whoever you want to be. I hope you live a life you're proud of. And if you find that you're not, I hope you have the courage to start over. Thank you, guys.